Hey everybody, Keith Hafner here. You know, with man, all things are not always possible. With man, a lot of times things seem impossible. But I want to suggest that God makes no small plans for anybody. And in fact, a lot of what he's got in store for you are things that in your natural mind you would find to be impossible. So I encourage you to think about God's plan on your life, to think about the things that are in your heart, and to make sure that you're not limited by those things that you think of as being possible. Because when God starts putting his supernatural on top of your natural efforts, your natural situation, then the impossible occurs. And I want to give you one more reason why this is important. When you only do things that are possible, even if you're doing the work of the Lord, a lot of times, because it's possible, you start taking it on yourself and doing it in your own ways. I like to have the Lord speak to me about things that he wants to accomplish in my life that move over into this realm of the seemingly impossible. And here's why. He's got things that he has told me that I'm to do in my life that seem so impossible. I am glad that I don't know how to do them. I'm glad that they don't seem possible to me because anytime something seems possible to me, I start applying my own strategies, my own way of doing things, my own thoughts, and you know what? I get in there and goof it up. So I encourage you to be more comfortable doing the things that seem to be impossible where you've got to rely totally on God and His way of doing things. I think that's the way to succeed. See you.